the European <laughs> Union uh, risks collapsing or turning into a dictatorship, according to the Prime Minister of Poland. In a letter to EU leaders, he accused the bloc of, quote, punishing and starving Poland with threats to withhold £48 billion of COVID recovery funds over rumblings of the country following the UK's lead and going it alone. European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen warned of repercussions after a top Polish court ruled that a court ruling that rejected key parts of EU law, which she said threatened the alliance's stability. I can already tell you today, I am deeply concerned. This ruling calls into question the foundations of the European Union. It is a direct challenge to the unity of the European legal order. The Commission will act, and the options are all known. First option, infringements, where we legally challenge the judgment of the Polish Constitutional Court. Another option is the conditionality mechanism and other financial tools. The Polish government has to explain to us how it intends to protect European money. Now, as it stands, polls overwhelmingly do support remaining in the EU. But could the Prime Minister's claims of being blackmailed and attacked turn public opinion, Limpid Opus? Yes, it, they could. Mm -hmm. uh, in what I think may have been an exclusive, I revealed live here on GB News recently that I voted remain. But I wouldn't now, because what the European... Good man. Well... <laughs> I say that more in sorrow than, than out of pride, but what the European Union... Has I mean, good man that you would vote leave now. I, I, I understand <laughs> yeah. that, yeah, but I was trying to be a little bit humble and so <laughs> forth because I'm not trying to score points on this, but I'll tell you, the group that is trying to score points is the European Commission. Mm -hmm. And when you watch what they did to try to withhold our vaccines from our people. Mm. Disgrace. It was absolutely disgraceful. And now... When also, the they, they the tried to piss all over the whole vaccine because it was made here. Well... Which did them great damage. Well, and, and that was a mess. Then they had to withdraw what they'd done and everything else. They yeah, seem the to be using the same tactic with Poland. They're playing yeah. life and death mm. just to keep Poland in line. Now, as I say, I, I'm a team player and I would have at that time, in the past, supported us being in the European Union. All kinds of good reasons for it. But now you see the full colours of what's going on. Maybe it's just the people in charge. Maybe it's that lady that we just watched there. But what they're doing is they're saying to Poland, come and have a go if you think you're hard mm. enough. And the European Union was never set up for that kind of brink. Becca, does the EU never learn? Have they not learned the lessons from the UK when David Cameron went to try and secure a better deal? And... And, and they just called our bluff and look at what happened. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree, actually. I think, you know, they've had a really unedifying 18 mm. months, haven't they? Mm. The vaccine mm. rollout across Europe was appalling. Well, you can mm. look at the handling of the Greek debt crisis. I mean, there's all manner of issues that they've had that the European Union haven't, haven't managed particularly mm. well. Um, and, I, and, I, and I'm concerned that this kind of hardline approach, it didn't work with the UK at all, as you said, mm. and we ended up leaving. And I think, I don't think that the Polish people are going to kind of, you know, think, all oh, right, we need to get in line and this is going to be effective. So I think you're right, I think the EU needs to, you know, change its yeah. rhetoric and fast. Because these polls can quickly change, yeah. can't yeah. they, Dawn? Absolutely. I, I agree, and this is the reason the I The polls think... could change and the polls could get out. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. Oh, see what you did there. <laughs> oh, right. brilliant. Um, but it's, uh, this is why they were so against us leaving, because I think it is now going to be a pack of cards. Other countries have mm. seen what's happened. The EU are re revealing their true colours. Yeah. I mean, the whole vaccine thing was just absolutely scandalous. Yeah. They have been bullied bullies and, and just appalling ever since. I mean, it really has been not a good time for them.